absorption theorem. Absorption theorem says that any term or to itself and ended with something else is equal first term. So in this case it's going to be A. Someone is going to ask, how come? Simply you're supposed to use factoring. I'm going to factorize A and inside of the parentheses I'm going to have 1 or B. Remember, 1 or B is always equal 1. That's why I'm going to have A times 1. A times, remember time stands for AND gate, so if A and 1 is always equal A. So that's why A or AB is equal A. Let's take a look at this example. Very similar. So my answer is going to be C0. Someone is going to ask why. Because I, fa I can factorize C0 and inside of the parentheses I'm going to have 1 or D. So I'm going to have C0 and 1 or D gives me 1. C0 and 1 is going to give me C0. Let's check another example. I have AB or ABC. Right? The answer we know is AB because the rule which I apply over here is going to be also applied also in this example. But we can do also factoring to see this better. So I'm going to factorize AB from these two terms because this is the common factor. And inside of the parentheses I'm going to have 1 or C. 1 or C is always equal. 1, that's why I'm going to write A, B, and 1. A, B, and 1 will give me A, B. Let's check another example. Again, if you are going to, to look at this problem, you can say right away that the answer is going to be A or B. Why? Because I can factorize a, B from these two terms. So I'm going to have A or B and inside of the parentheses I'm going to have 1 or C. Again, any time we have 1 or 2 something else, the answer is going to be always 1. That's why my answer is A or B times 1. A or B times 1 is always A or B. Another example. I can factorize A, B naught. A, B naught. And inside of the parentheses I'm going to have again 1 or C. 1 or anything. In this case we have always C. Right, but th th it could be any variable, is always equal 1. That's why my answer is a, b naught times 1, and everything is equal a, b naught.